Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're we'll doing a Ram 1500 powertrain comparison. We're going to be comparing the 3.6 liter V6 to the 3O Eco Diesel, and finally to the 5.7 Hemi to find out which powertrain is the best to go for in a Ram 1500. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout out and link to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for providing me with all three of these trucks. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then, as always, on a side note, if you want to save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Well, let's start things off with the 5.7 Hemi. So, naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Now, it's paired to an e-torque system. That's the only way you can get the 5.7 Hemi for the 23 model year. With that, it allows this truck to get 17 around town and then 22 on the highway. Power outputs 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque, and then you get another 130 pound-feet off of the line because of that e-torque system. The next powertrain is the EcoDiesel. It's a three liter turbo diesel V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy with this is 21 around town and then 29 on the highway. Power outputs 260 horsepower, 480 pound feet of torque. And then finally, we have the 3.6 liter V6. This also goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. With this fuel economy is 16 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 305 horsepower and then 273 pound feet of torque. So what have we learned here today, folks? Well, we have learned that the EcoDiesel has the most torque and it actually gets the best fuel economy, but it is diesel and diesel prices right now are more expensive than gas prices. And so you might not necessarily save money at the pump because although you get better fuel economy, you'll be paying more. Anyways, the other thing we learned is that although this has way more power and is a much bigger engine compared to the 3.6 liter V6 over there, it pretty much gets the same fuel economy numbers. And so what this looks like before we even drive them is the 5.7 Hemi for the gas engine is an obvious winner. And then the EcoDiesel, well, it, it could be a winner, but we're gonna have to drive them to find out. Before we do that, let's get into some more specs. Now these trucks obviously vary quite a bit in equipment, so this is not really gonna be that important, but I'll still show you. Payload capacity on the Limited with the 5.7 Hemi 1,392 pounds. Payload capacity with the big horn that has the Eco Diesel, 1,620 pounds. And then payload with the Warlock, 1,532 pounds. So again, not the best comparison when it comes to payloads because these trucks are so different. But what I've noticed from reviewing a bunch of Rams is that the powertrain doesn't make as much of a difference with the payload as the packaging does. So like if you get a limited, you're not gonna have the best payload because you have so much leather and wood trim and all the other stuff that makes the truck heavy that gets rid of the payload. But if you're getting a limited with the EcoDiesel versus the 5.7 Hemi, the payload difference isn't as much as you'd think. So package is more important to payload than powertrain. Now the next thing is gonna to be towing capacity. So with the 5.7 Hemi, if you get that equipped with a 392 axle ratio with a truck that a person would actually buy, you're looking at around 11,000 pounds. EcoDiesel, you're looking at right around 10,000 pounds. And then with the V6, you're looking at about six, almost 7,000 pounds for the towing capacity. We need to talk about today's sponsor, Morgan and Morgan. Now, nobody wants to get into a car accident, an accident at their workplace, or you know, slip and fall in front of a business. But sometimes it just happens to be a part of life. And I can speak about this from a place of personal experience because when I was 17 years old, I got in a really bad car accident where my car got totaled out. And because I didn't know anything about insurance companies or getting help by a law firm, I basically got completely screwed in the situation where I got no money for my totaled car and I was left without a vehicle. And this is where Morgan & Morgan can help out. They are America's largest injury law firm with over 100 offices, over 800 lawyers, and over 4,000 case staff that are all ready to help you out. Now, I know at this point you might be thinking, Ben, that sounds really expensive, but here is the deal. All of the court hearings, the research, the negotiation, and more are free unless you win. And so if you're involved in some sort of personal accident, whether it be a slip and fall accident, an accident at your work, 
workplace or maybe a car accident similar to what I was involved in, then you might want to get help from Morgan and Morgan. And don't feel bad that you're going down the route of suing. I know a lot of people might feel guilty about this, but what you have to understand is you're not suing the person or the business. You're suing their insurance company that has billions upon billions of dollars. And so it's more about making sure that you get the compensation that you deserve. So again, if you're injured in an accident, then you can check out Morgan and Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy, or you can give them a call at pound 529, which is pound law. I think that's so cool that they got that number reserved. But again, www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy. Let's get back into the review. Before we drive the trucks, let's talk about the powertrain cost differences. So with the V6, it's typically a no cost option with the EcoD. So it looks like it's 5,500 bucks, at least on that Bighorn. Now with the 5.7 Hemi on the limited, it states that it's like 500 bucks, but historically the 5.7 Hemi e-torque has seemed to cost anywhere from like 1,200 to like 2,400 bucks. Um, but it seems like they're bringing the cost down on that. So anyways, V6, not going to cost you anything. 5.7 Hemi, it looks like it's gotten a lot more affordable. Eco Diesel, you're paying a pretty penny for that powertrain. Let's start off here in the V6. And I know some people might have the complaint that I'm comparing a classic to a Bighorn to a Limited, but you know, we're comparing powertrains and it's it's not gonna be, a, you know, obviously the packaging is gonna affect like the ride quality of the truck and everything, but it's not gonna affect how the powertrain perform, performs ultimately. First thing with the V6, at low speeds, it's not bad. I do feel like I have to get into it a little bit though. I mean, that was almost 3000 RPMs and I'm just, light acceleration right and i feel like that's probably gonna be the big downside of the v6 is just the power that this engine has in such a big pickup truck but it's quiet i think it's got that going for it um, now i'm not going to really talk about how the truck itself drives i'm going to focus on the powertrain because it's a powertrain comparison and well these trucks are going to drive so different that it's yeah <laughs> not even funny i mean we've got the old body versus standard coil suspension versus air suspension. I mean, of course, there's gonna be a pretty substantial driving difference between them. But what I will say is, I mean, just getting up and going around, it's great. It seems like it's it's a pretty quiet powertrain. It's got decent, decent enough torque. Not really getting frustrated with it whatsoever. But again, you gotta remember this is unloaded, right? And fit and finish on these uh, classics. This is like wiggly right here. Look at this. I normally don't comment on stuff like this, but like my thumb's like right there. It's like, what the heck? Why is this thing popping off? Man. Someone fell asleep at the factory while they were gluing this thing to the steering wheel. Um, let's see how this gets up and moves here. So this is you know, not full throttle, but like heavier. Yeah, you can tell it's kind of, it's not bad, but it's it's definitely, I'm having to get into it to get this to move. And then we'll see what full throttle looks like here. Yeah, I mean, that was ringing it out. That's for sure. That was definitely ringing it out. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this compares to the other too but you know not not horrible it doesn't feel fast though like it feels like i can get up to speed but uh <laughs> not getting up to speed in any amount of uh, hurry whatsoever so setting off the eco diesel so i'm going to mention it's kind of funny that isn't pertaining to the powertrains is so that Warlock, right, is classic edition base model. This big horn is supposed to be like middle line package. The Warlock has a power adjustable driver's seat. This has a manual driver's seat. Ram with their current packaging is very strange. I will say right off the bat, this is louder than the V6 at idle. You got their little diesel chug. It's like chug, 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 chug. Suspension's so different, that's crazy. That's, it's getting up at like a pretty high RPM rate, just like the V6, this obviously has a much uh, lower red line, right? Because it's a diesel. But yeah, it seems like it's got to get into those turbos at least a little bit to get any amount of power. But it's 
it's not too bad but like yeah you do hear the you do hear the diesel quite a bit more in the v6 but i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because i do like the sound of this and by the way this one does have a 392 axle ratio so this is as punchy as it gets for an eco diesel it's it's very smooth transmission's good at putting it where it needs to be i mean yeah it's got so much torque that yeah i can i can basically hold my speed under 2000 rpms and 480 pound feet of torque is very impressive but i wish that uh this is just a side note i wish that we could get diesel engines like this in mid-size trucks that would be so great i mean imagine like just just imagine this for a second a new Ram, this will never happen, but a new Ram Dakota with the Eco Diesel, 3 liter V6, 480 pound feet of torque, 260 horsepower on a mid sized pickup truck. That would be so much fun. Okay. Okay, this is middle acceleration. Yeah, really good. I can definitely feel the torque difference between them, um, but I will say that because the V6 has more horsepower than this, the acceleration difference between them. It, it doesn't, like, at least at, like, partial and mid-throttle, doesn't feel as different as you'd think. But you can definitely feel the torque difference, that's for sure. But you also, you also feel the horsepower difference. That's, that's an interesting thing with the trucks. Yeah, just sitting here. Just constant. With little diesel rumble. I like how immediate, though, it is. It's pretty, for a turbocharged diesel, it's pretty immediate with throttle response. Let's see what full throttle's like here. Wow, that's not as, like, like, there's definitely a difference. Like, this definitely feels way smoother than the V6. It's not as, like, loud and screamy as the V6, right? But it doesn't feel, like, way quicker like I thought it would. I thought that this would feel like just a, like a rocket ship compared to the V6, and it doesn't, um, but... You know, what I will say is if you put a trailer behind this and then trailer behind the V6, the V6 is, you know, going to be screaming at like you know, 5,000 RPMs probably. Whereas this is probably going to be chilling at, you know, 2,000, 3,000. I mean, it depends on what you're towing up, right? But it's going to be at much lower RPMs. So that's where this is going to win over the Eco Diesel, or not the Eco Diesel. This is the Eco Diesel. This is where this is going to win over the V6 is in a towing situation like that. <laughs> Let's set off in this limited with the 5.7 Hemi. Now, quick disclaimer, I'm using this video for my limited review and then also for my engine comparison review as well. So this is going to have some stuff talking about the 5.7 Hemi and some stuff talking about the limited package itself. First off, always got to love the sound of the 5.7 Hemi. It's such a good sounding engine. It's very beefy. And right off the bat, torque is great. Uh, and I just drove... Um, I just drove an Eco Diesel on a V6 right before this, and it's crazy to feel a difference with them. Like, you can feel that this has less torque than the Eco Diesel. It feels better than the V6, of course, but it's, it's interesting at the low speeds. It's, it's very responsive, but it's not as, like, punchy as the Eco Diesel is at low speeds. Yeah, it feels like there's a little bit more lag before I get anything. That's, that's interesting that, again, that difference is actually perceivable. Um, now, with the limited package, we've got the air suspension, and that makes this truck ride really smooth. So, I just drove a Classic before this and a Bighorn before this, and the difference is huge. Like, the 5th gen drives way better than the 4th gen in terms of ride quality, but then 4th, or sorry, 5th gen with air suspension versus non-air suspension, there's a difference. This feels like a full-on luxury car. The Bighorn felt comfortable, but this, yeah, this is just on a whole nother level. Like, the damping is amazing. So, if you want a luxury car ride... Yeah, even over bigger bumps, this this gives it to you. That is for sure. Seat comfort's really good and limited as well. Really nice leather. Just a, it's it's a nice it's a luxury vehicle. That's and that's why this truck's been so popular is because right you get a luxury experience and a pickup truck. So this is mid throttle. Definitely feel the horsepower with this one. Definitely feel the horsepower. That is for sure. Hopefully that light holds. Let's cross our fingers. There we go. 
We are in luck today. Okay, let's get our full blown acceleration here. Wow. Yeah, I'm way punching the other two powertrains, that's for sure. I yeah, driving them back to back, that is interesting to see. But quickly summing things up here with this limited package with the 5.7 Hemi E-Torque. Um, it's got it's got really good power, just like yeah, right off the bat. And yeah, I just I like how this drives. It's smooth, it's comfortable. And again, this really is a luxury car. Like you have to the way to look at this pickup truck is you're basically combining like a Mercedes S Class with a pickup truck. It's the S Class of pickup trucks, whatever you want to call it. It just yeah, and the interior is really nice too. But yeah, you can still technically get the eco diesel in this. Um, I think it's just gonna depend on what you're gonna use it for. I like both powertrains for different reasons. I will say the one thing that I really like about this particular uh, powertrain here in the Limited is just the, like, just the punching, especially when you fully accelerate. Like, you, Eco Diesel doesn't have a lot of horsepower, so it kind of pulls back a little bit. This, though, it just keeps going. Now that I've driven all of the powertrains back to back, let's choose a winner, and we'll start from last and, I guess, go to first. So, in last place is the 3.6 liter V6. Fuel economy is identical to the 5.7 Hemi, and it has substantially less power. And yeah, like I just, I don't get the point of 3.6 liter V6 at this point, other than cost. I can imagine that if that is in a truck that is far less expensive than a truck with a 5.7 Hemi, then it makes sense. But like, yeah, it's just a, it's a weak powertrain for a pickup truck. And so it, if it got like much better fuel economy, I would understand, but it, it just really doesn't. Now, Eco Diesel versus 5.7 Hemi, it's honestly a very difficult decision to choose a winner between both those powertrains because I like them both for different reasons. But what I will say with the current price of diesel, with the fact that the Eco Diesel costs literally 5,500 freaking dollars, <laughs> It gives the 5.7 Hemi a slight edge because the 5.7 Hemi is not only way more affordable, but it's not like you're going to be saving money by going to the Eco Diesel because the 5.7 Hemi gets pretty good uh, fuel economy for what it is, and it costs a lot less, and also the fuel that you put in that costs a lot less. Hopefully that makes sense. And so I'm going to say Eco Diesel is second place, and then 5.7 Hemi is number one. Let me know which powertrain you like the most and which one you would choose.